The biggest mistake that artists and songwriters make today is that they make music as if it was made for radio. They make music as if it was made the way that people heard music in, let's say, 1990 or 1995. And people don't listen to music the same way anymore, and certainly they don't discover the music the same way anymore. So people really need to pay attention to how people discover music. When they're discovering music, it's mostly online now, and that can happen through downloading legally, downloading illegally, streaming on MySpace, streaming on Google, streaming on YouTube, um, a host of different places. Um, and what happens is, is that that discovery experience is far, far different than it used to be. And if the artists aren't going to pay attention to that, then they're going to lose out on the key methodology that people utilize to find your music. If in that process that discovery has you writing a song that would have fit well on radio in the 70s, 80s, or 90s, then you can't be shocked when people in the discovery process shun your music. You have to play into the way the technology works. And those that are succeeding are saying to themselves, uh, I, how do I listen to this when it comes through on that technology? How, do I, how does it sound when it's first discovered that way? Those are the artists that actually are going to succeed moving forward.